This one trend will dominate the domain name industry into 2020. Hey, Chris Eckert, Media Options, help companies to acquire the raw, unfiltered version of the brand and broker on some of the best domain names on the planet. Check that out over at mediaoptions.com. Also check out dnx.com. We have like over 1,500 domain names. One word domain names available for acquisition over there, but it's based on application only. So, But uh, check that out. Anyways, uh, this one trend, this one trend is going to continue to dominate the domain name space. And that trend is this. That trend is one word domain names. Yeah, and you're probably saying, Chris, I get it. <laughs> it's been the trend forever. But I'm here to say that, listen, domain names and one word domain names are gonna, are gonna continue to go up in value. I think they're gonna go up in value even stronger as we go into 2020 and beyond. And that's because of, of a, a couple different things. A couple different things. Now, I look at the market in three different ways. I look at the market, first of all, in like what is the social trend as far as how cow companies are naming their brands and how startups are kind of coming to business and like what's happening in branding. And what we're seeing is that there seems to be like this trend with authenticity, with clarity, with simplicity, and with creating an effortless path for, uh, for consumers. Now, a couple of things are going on here. One is that uh, the internet is, is more mature, okay? It's more mature in the sense if you look at like naming and branding trends several years ago, I think it was like after the dot-com bust, uh, at some point in there, the like what you saw is you saw a lot of companies like name themselves like made up names okay names that were misspelled and you saw this trend you saw this trend if you looked at Crunchbase and you looked at White Combinator and Techstars I mean companies just were looking for that edge and that seemed to be it what we're seeing today is because there's more competition and because it's at like a different stage of like the growth and saturation and more and more companies are only online I mean you can only pretty much interact with them online. Uh, although the maybe let's say there's a delivery service, uh, the the main point of interaction, the main point of communication, the main point of the transaction, is on their website, okay? Or it's on their app, or you know you're coming back and you're and you're still interacting with them on their website. I mean, email is critical because email puts the voice and puts the uh, the the um, ah I'm losing the word, but it puts it back into the hands of the company versus the search engine versus the app, you know, versus like Google App Store, okay? So, uh, but that's that's the social trend is that like domain, one word domain names, like they communicate, if you get it right, okay, if you get it right, um, uh, but they're communicating the like authenticity, clear, simplicity and clarity. Now the other trend coupled this is the economic trend is that's that more and more companies are willing to pay. Venture capitalists are willing to pay because they see the impact. Uh, at this stage in the game, I mean, many of them have bought and sold several different domain names, and they get it. They just fundamentally get it. It's like, hey, this is an asset. This is not a marketing campaign expense. Uh, and founders get that because they have either bought and sold. I mean, as acquisitions and as companies get bought, uh, they regularly, I mean, get sold. I mean, and I'm a great. Our company is a great example of that. I mean, we do a lot of our business is just that. You know, companies, they have these assets in the books and they're like, hey, I want to sell it. How can we do this? How can we get top dollar? They come to Media Options and we broker those domain names. So check those out over at MediaOptions.com. But they're willing to pay. They realize it's an asset. And the prices uh, consistently, consistently are going up because of that. Because, I mean, it truly is a foundational asset to a company. And uh, uh, and that found because it's a foundational asset, because it's it's... Uh, it, it's this um, this intersection for their brand with the consumer. They want to pay for it now. Uh, okay, so you have supply. You know, demand is going up. You have money chasing demand, and then what you have on the other side is you have the tech, uh, the, the technological side, and that is that uh, demand is actually going down. I mean, many of the the one word domain names are off the market. I mean, you just saw recently Carrot.com sold. How many companies? There were like eight companies that called themselves Carrot and it raised over a million dollars. One of them like $30 million on the .co. Don't recommend the .co. My personal experience in looking at like thousands and thousands of, of companies and hearing stories. Um, but there are all these companies out there, like only one can own it. You look at Notion.com. I think that one recently sold. I mean, how many companies wanted that, right? Uh, or, or calling themselves that, but only one company owns it over and over and over again. Uh, or you look at the fact, I mean, once it's sold, it's off the market. I mean, you can, you're not going to be able to acquire that 
uh, domain name because it becomes a brand, it's brand equity, and it's worth much more than just the domain name. Now, it's interesting. I just talked to a business person yesterday. He's like very, very, very successful business, like multi, multi million, millions. And uh, he bought this domain name in like the the mid five figures. Okay, let's say fifty thousand dollars. And within one month, he had an offer for one point two million dollars. But guess what? He's like, I'm not selling it because it's integral and it's a foundation of our business. Like, if I sold that, what would that communicate to the market? What would that communicate to our customers? What would that communicate to our employees? Or like, hey, like this domain represents the very essence of our of our business of our mission of the industry and yet you sold it like probably sold the competitor so he didn't sell it it happens over and over and over again or uh domains are locked away in vaults and corporate vaults i mean it's interesting i mean if you look at pin pun the, the words you use right many of the biggest domain squatters if you like that word in a negative contents uh are the biggest companies in the world they have the biggest vaults of domain names okay the biggest vaults of a domain names and many of them, they're just not for sale. Or if they're all for sale, they want like $30 million, like the voice.com deal. And many companies aren't willing to put up that money, don't have that money to put up to buy a domain like that. So if you look at those three trends, what I'm seeing, I think going into 2020, is that the one word domain names will continue to rise in value. Now I'm not saying, don't misinterpret this, that every domain name is worth $5 million, $10 million. There's a value to it. Go back and look at my YouTube on domain name valuation. I laid out pretty like, uh, pretty clear as, as far as how I viewed uh, and how to value a domain name and what's that value to get across the finish line and to sell it and what it's worth. Uh, so go and check that out. Um, but they're gonna continue to go in, up in value and, uh, and it's, can, it's gonna continue to be one of the best investments a company can make in their ability to scale, in their ability to own their brand, their messaging, uh, and it truly is a strategic asset. Okay, if you enjoyed this video, share it up. Also, go on over to chriszeiker.com forward slash survey and check that out. It's like a five question survey. It leads you to three different domain strategies. I give like 10 to 20 minutes of video uh, on each of these strategies, what I would do if I was in your situation, uh, if I was like a, a scalable startup, VC backed startup, if I was a regional startup, and if I was just like a local kind of small business hobbyist startup. So go and check that out, chriszeiker.com forward slash survey. You just got done listening to another episode of Dot Com Strategies. Check us out online at chriszeiker.com and at mediaoptions.com.